Good morning, interwebs. It's 1.50. I'm feeling better than I was last night, so that's a good thing. I already folded some laundry and stuff today. And Steve is putting up trim. Like, our lighting is so weird right now. It's so bright and so not bright simultaneously. But now he's putting up the trim around the door. Kids are upstairs playing Wii. I've got lunch cooking. But here is a, a completed trimmed window. Sill and all. So. Only half completed. Only half. I guess, yeah, the outside bits. Yeah, there's still a, there's a gap between the trim and the wall. That's because our windows were set when the lath and plaster walls were in. So they are set with basically enough space forward into the house um, for a layer of lath and a layer of plaster. And now we have drywall, so it's much thinner. Thus, there's just a gap that has to be filled in. But we've done it in other rooms, so Steve is now an expert at how to do that. You're lots of naughty words. Oh. Yeah, you say lots of naughty words. That's his... Uh, his master pro tip on how to put in this kind of trip. So it is well after midnight and I should be in bed and trust me, I'm heading there soon. I just thought I would show you a few of the things I've been up to today. For those of you that were asking if I'm feeling better, yes, mostly, um, especially if I don't do a whole lot of moving around. I had to take my daughter to a 4-H like skit practice thing today. And I had to get in and out of the car a few times to go and drop her off and pick her up and everything. And like just doing that made my stomach all unhappy again. And Steve's stomach is not so happy either. So I'm thinking it clearly we have something, but the kids all seem fine. So that is good because if somebody's going to be sick, I would really actually rather it be me because then at least I know how I feel and I can try and make it better. But when they don't feel well, I can't really always, you know, judge. So that is that. I worked on one crochet thing this evening. I'll show, let's see, front side, there it is. Um, from the crochet along groups I'm doing, it does a doily cowl and this is the doily for January. It's called the Solar Radiance, I wanna say. And um, yeah, it has, I still have a little more to do, a couple more rows, but I bought this yarn at Walmart the other day, burgundy, silver, peacock, and black. And plan is to make some doilies throughout the year all using that thread. So did that. I also started, last year I kind of was keeping like a book with all my projects in it that I crocheted throughout the year and I thought that was really fun and interesting and I might even include some non-crochet projects, other crafts and stuff. But I started doing a new one this year in a different book format, like just as my whoops are for 2017. And then for each one I'm writing like the name and then for a bunch of writing, like, where are they? Like, do I have to go to the website or do I have it printed out? Like there's some that I've saved in my computer. It just says like saved so I know what it is, then what yarn I used and then the hook size. Because that has been a problem with my whips, um, especially things that get put in the naughty corner or disappear for a while. I don't have a crazy large number of hooks and certainly not a large number of hooks that I really enjoy. So I won't just leave my hooks with my projects. And then sometimes I can't remember which hook I used. And sometimes I'm very certain that I have made a mistake and switched hooks. So along the Oops, there you go. Along the side, I've been writing like what date I started. Like these were existing whips coming from 2016. And then things that I started on different days. And I'm just writing on this right hand side of the page. Then you'll notice it comes to there are things with circled numbers. Well, if you open the book from the back, they're my I'm proud of you's, which is what I like to call my finished objects. So, the first one was my ups and downs fingerless gloves. And it says, they are a week one cowl and it says what date I finished it. Then a lot of the stuff's design stuff. So I have already completed five projects for the year. And it is what, the like eighth, ninth, something like that. So I thought that was kind of a fun thing to do. I kind of did it last year when I was doing winter camp. I'm not participating in winter camp this year, but 
I still kind of wanted to keep track of some progress. And another thing that I wanted to talk about, um, I was thinking about it the other day, when I had been doing such nice work episodes. If you hear lots of noise, Jezebel is attacking a number of, like, her shopping bags on the floor. She just keeps pouncing on them and pushing them around. I'm not really sure why. Is there a reason? Because that's kind of funny. Is there something in it? Anyways, when I was doing such nice work episodes, I did this thing that I called my squeaky wheels, which are the things that are like nagging in my brain that like, they're usually things that get put off. Or even just like small tasks that I know need to get done in a given period of time. And it helps me when they're like a goal, especially a goal that I've told somebody else so I'm like accountable, which is kind of what the daily vlogging does. So I thought that I would try and do squeaky wheel Sundays where on Sundays I give you my squeaky wheels and then I'll tell you next week how I did and give you a new batch. So I picked seven priority areas of my life and I picked a squeaky wheel for each one. The reason I picked seven is because while these are not things that can necessarily be done in a day for the most part, it means that if I feel like I'm losing focus or need a direction on a given day, I can go today I'm gonna focus on the kids. What's the kids thing on my list of squeaky wheels? Oh, this, so now I'm gonna do that. Get it? Okay, so my first priority area, and these are in no particular order, just the way I wrote them down, is my house. So this week I need to get all of the dishes done because while my seven-year-old does a large majority of them, there are things that are too heavy, too fragile, just don't get done because, you know, she's seven. Um, and we just have dishes stacked up and in weird places and yeah so I need to make sure that all of those are accounted for I've done racks and racks and I still just don't finish all of them and then some more stack up and all the dishes done the second area is our homeschool and this week I would like to reinstitute our brave rider lifestyle We've been on kind of an unschooly hiatus, which is actually working out really well, and I've seen growth in all the kids academically, even though we haven't been pushing academics. It's kind of weird and kind of awesome, um, but I would like to ease us back into doing a little more school by doing our Brave Rider lifestyle things, which means that basically every day I have a language arts themed activity that we do. And third thing is... Steve. I would like to spend three days this week actually hanging out with him during our appointed hanging out time, which is like between when the kids go to rest time, he takes a shower, and then he goes to bed. And for a number of reasons, that doesn't always happen. Um, because, I don't know, we're um, remodeling our kitchen, or I'm tired, or we have things to do. So yeah, since I'm going to be going out of town here soon, three days this week I'd like to hang out with him. As far as myself and my self-care, because you know the whole oxygen mask, put yours on first, you know, yada yada. Um, I would like to spend 15 minutes a day doing a form of copy work. So if they're affirmations, if they're poems, whatever, but just writing, because number one, it is really good and therapeutic and meditative for me to like write. And I find it's just an enjoyable practice. I also think that it is good for the kids to see me writing because so much of what we do is like on the computer and digital, but it's important to know how to use a pen and paper. So that is that. And then the fifth one is obviously the kids. I want to make a concerted effort to read four books to them every day beyond like our chapter books and stuff. And I want to read four different books every day because we seem to be getting in book ruts. So that would mean that through the course of a week, we could read 28 different books in addition to what becomes our usual rotation because usually they all latch onto a handful and we read that handful over and over. Four different books every day. And then number six is to do a meal plan, or the sixth area is food. And so then to do a meal plan, which I will write out tomorrow morning for the week, just guidelines of what I would like us to eat. Um, 
so that I can have a little back more into cooking. It's kind of difficult with where everything is food wise and kitchen setup wise, but I mean, we had the ability to cook. For the most part, I cook on the wood stove anyway. It's just a matter of like getting to the fridge, which today we had to eat something different for lunch because we couldn't access the fridge because there was stuff in front of it. But it's all clear now. And then the seventh priority grouping is family. And as a family, I would like us to write thank you notes for all of our holiday gifts. It'll just be easier if we all do it together. So in case you didn't catch those, the areas are my house. Our homeschool, Steve, myself, kids, food, and family as a whole. So those are, those are kind of the priority groupings and one for every day of the week though they're not specifically assigned. And then um, I also have some business goals. I need to uh, pay my taxes for the quarter and um, I need to apply for my big show in May. And I need to do some work ahead for some new design things. So those are my goals on that front. So when I need help like focusing, because I was thinking about it and doing some of these crochet alongs, it's helping my brain have like a place to go when I go into the weird crafty spin that you all know happens to me more often than is probably healthy. <laughs> um, it's just giving me like a place to land that that's like focused. So I thought that maybe I will try doing a similar thing with my life. If I can just try and have some goals that I accept might not always happen, but at least I'm closer to them. And some of them are easily measurable, like a certain number of days, a certain number of books, whatever. And some of them are more like open-ended. Um, but yeah, I will let you know next Sunday how I did this week and then I'll make goals for the following week. So I will keep those squeaky wheels in my head. Maybe you could come up with at least one squeaky wheel of your own and let me know what it is below in the comments so that we can all be accountable to one another. It'll make us better, right? It'll at least make us, I don't know, focused. It'll give us direction and hopefully that direction's up frequently I think my direction is down but anyways I should go to bed I don't really want to go to bed but I should because sleep will be good for me sleep will make my tummy feel better so I will see you all tomorrow nighty night